we're back in Code Academy. We're starting a new section, jQuery. It's a short three-hour section compared to most of them, which are like 11 or 8 to 10 or something like that. So jQuery, I believe, is slightly based off JavaScript. Um, I've never actually worked with jQuery, so this will be my first time messing around with it. So let's get started. Uh, introduction to jQuery, or introducing jQuery, introduction to jQuery. All right, see it to believe it. So it looks like we're doing some kind of standard HTML stuff, except we're calling a script here. We have our style sheet and then our script. There's a whole lot of stuff going on here. Um, hopefully we'll be explained shortly. But let's see what's going on. So we hover over it. You can see it adjusts on the color. Style sheet is just kind of saying what the colors are. And then this dot animate height. Okay, so um, this dot animate, when we mouse enter, I think this is saying when we mouse over, plus or 10 is when the mouse leaves, minus 10. Okay, I can get that. Check out the code in the script JS. We'll explain the code more soon, but for now, the main idea is when the HTML docket loads, the codes will select an HTML, HTML element and make it disappear. We'll want to target the div element here, so on line two inside the line two inside the div. All right. So what we want to say is for the div. We want to fade out. Oh, what happened there? Looks like your div is still there. Oh, it looks like we need um, quotations here for this to work. It looks like it faded out, and that's good. So that seems to be working document dot ready function okay so alright so look right here basically we're trying to say for the script we need to target certain things here when we see us selectors we have the div ID green that's what they're talking about inside the well, point to the ID green all right, so we want to say fade out for point pound green, and bam, it fades out. And you can see it right there, fades out again. Let's go back. All right, on the script.js tab, add the missing pieces on line two so that your jQuery co code calls fade out on the div with the ID pound not ready. So ID is pound not ready. Bam. So I'm gonna submit. You can see it in action. Add a script tag to the index.html. Its type should be text slash JavaScript. Its SRC should be script.js. So um, this is basically what tells the server or whatever's processing your information what we want to like what language it needs to work with and the SRC is saying for that language get it get the script from this file script type did I forget something oh and of course make sure you close the script tag as well Not too bad. Add a dot document ready. Call. All right, so document ready function. Call on script JS for Windows document special. It's on HTML on it like P or div, so it doesn't go in quotes. It looks like it's already there. Okay, so this is already here. I don't know why they asked us to do that. All right, uh, 
place a function inside your dot ready. So it is. It's there also. You don't need anything. Okay. So we did that also. <laughs> it's already there. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Uh, online to and script dot js make div into a jQuery object and call slide down. So to make the div a jQuery, we start off with the parentheses or the the cache money, and then we'll put div, and then we want to call dot slide down and then inside here we want to put slow so we did that we haven't done anything with our divs yet so what's going on here is we're calling the slide down function with the slow parameters just probably tells it how how fast to slide down similar to like if we were to do pixels for height and we're saying for all divs currently all right, mid lesson breather, okay. In your index.html tab, add a script tag to connect your HTML. All right, so this is our style sheet. So now we want to add script equals text slash JavaScript. SRC is equal to script script.js and then we need to close it slash script all right um, inside your script.js put a document into a jQuery object and call it ready so zip document and then function So I'm trying to do this off memory. I apologize if I messed this up. I got a function document dot ready. Maybe that was it. I think this was it. Function. Let's. Did you set scripts type attribute? Script type. There we go. All right. So script type, and then we've basically set it up for our, this to be ready. We haven't really done anything with it yet. All right, using the examples above, make it so your div fades to one, which is 100% opposite, opposity, o opacity, opposite. I don't know how to say that word. Uh, anyhow, uh, when your mouse enters the div, make the animation speed fast. Make sure to give fade to its inputs in order of speed rather than that word I can't say. And they can click and slowly mouse over the div to see the effect. All right, so we have our click me here, but what we want it to do, first thing we need to do is say, look, treat this div as a JavaScript for it, with JavaScript. We want to call the dot fade to on it, and this also needs to. All right, so there's two parameters. There's fast, and then one, which is going to be how how much how see through it is. And I believe that's it. So it looks like we need to do it right. Looks like you didn't say your divs capacity to one. I did check the example instructions if you need help. Div dot fade to Okay, so what we didn't do correctly here was it looks like we didn't set the condition for div to fade for it to fade over. So mouse enter is a function that we want it to do when Let's check our brackets here. So, 
div fade to semicolon semicolon enter and then we have the function then we call it ooh is this our error right here no nope. alright so let's go ahead and go to the Q&A form we're on 11 of 13 get yourself in All right, so let's compare this working code to our own. So we have document.ready function. That's it right there, I think. Div mouse enter function. I think we're messed up on the brackets. So, Control X, save and submit. There we go. You can see a change right there, and it became much clearer. So, just a simple bracket mistake. All right, so between mouse enter and the, the enter document ready, add a mouse leave. It uses fade to return your digital mouse. All right, so we need between that ends your mouse enter. So mouse enter is right here. We want to add another one that says when that div dot oh wrong one. So this is a mount en mouse enter. We want to do it right here. Uh, I believe this is what we want to do here so we want to say it's going to look similar to mouse enter except it's going to be mouse leave div dot mouse leave and have this function do some stuff Say this div dot fade to this is going to return it. That's why we're doing this, and it's going to be fast. Otherwise, once we hover over it like so, it will just always stay that way. We don't want that fast, and we want it to go back to 0.5. Make sure you get out. Of See how it goes back? Nice. Uh, 0 0.5. It looks like you didn't say you did this. Yes, we did. All right, so let's check over. Uh, let's see if no that's not it there's no way 
Uh, let's just go to the Q&A forums. It's probably a, another bracket issue. We're in 12 or 13. Try this. So let's compare this and see what's going on here. So we're good on this first line. It's identical. We're good on this second line. It's also identical. That's a fade three. Uh, I don't know why it's fade three, but hey, that's we're good there. We're good here. So let's compare this mouse sleeve function. Did fade too fast. And it's a semicolon error. Cool. That means that's good just because it means that we understand what's going on. Oh, maybe it's not a semicolon there. Shit. Um, this works for this guy, but it doesn't work for us. So our code works, but. That's all correct. So let's go save and submit. It works. Uh, so we're getting. It said that it worked right there for a second. So uh, I don't know. It might just be a little bit of an error there. So it, it was working fine. I'm not quite sure what the issue was. But um, you know, Eureka. You've completed. We've finished our first introduction to jQuery. It wasn't too bad. Um, this is a lot more coding. This is more similar to actual coding than like HTML was for me. Stuff like that, so I kind of like it. Um, I have a feeling it's going to get very complicated once we start tying in databases, but we probably won't even do that. But let's see what we're doing in the next video. Close that. Uh, we're doing jQuery functions and selectors. So it looks like we'll probably just be doing a little bit more in depth actions with this so i'll see you guys in the next jquery video and as always comments questions concerns wordpress ideas for videos and just any sort of topics are always appreciated thanks guys